Hey guys, Mr. Light is back with Lord of the Rings The Third Age. Time to move on through Moria. Got a bench chest over here. Oh, new equipment for Hadhard. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, Hadhard, um... Be honest, the arm of this one is better. Um... Health goes up with that one. But honestly, I want to keep... I want to have this one because of the speed increase. Right. We are going to go across these catwalks. Ah, uh, oh, okay. The guy there is going to cause me trouble. Goblin Bane on you. Oh dear, that's not good. That's already a bad start. Uh, spirit powers. No, second thought, not spirit powers. Uh, fluid strike. Okay, bit of damage done there, that's good. I'm glad it was rendering blades. If it was stun strike, that would have been annoying. Okay, they've all had a turn. Uh, let's use aim shot. Oh, it's still alive apparently. Oh well, I want to get rid of that guy quickly, so... Let's get Verifor out now and finish him off. Guardian Strike! Now we don't have to worry about Stun Strike anymore. Right, um, Spirit Powers, Flaming Fury, on you. Okay, whatever. Um, uh, Ranger Craft, Aim Shot, get them. That'll teach you a lesson. We use Leadership, Company Valor. As probably everyone knows by now, I am doing this for SP to learn new skills. I'm going to get Idriel out. Spirit powers. Loud water fury. I survived that apparently. Uh, let's use aim shot again. And do some heavy artillery damage. Great going, Elagos. That's all I did now. So now we get EXP for everyone equally. Hard hard levels up. Very good. Glad we're getting so many elf medicines. I'm going to need those. Right, I'm going to increase your dex rate. Seriously now. Right, I don't think there's anything over here for what I remember. So, we have to walk along this darn thing. Let's go. Aha, there's another enemy coming up to us. Here we go. It is. Okay, whatever. This guy's not very far. Okay, this actually doesn't look that bad. Let's use aim shot. On that guy. Takes him out in one blow. Very good. Leaping Slash does have a good critical hit rate. Right. Uh, I actually want to use, say, Goblin Bane on you. Now he hits better. Now I'll use Spirit Powers. Just for the EXP. Ah, oh, very good. Then let's swap you out for better four and Citadel Rage. Sorted that mess out. So that's that sorted. Another fight victory over the cat war. Elegon slowed up so he gets his AP back. Very good. Let's just get Elagos up. 
I'm going to read your Dexter tree and your spirits. Right. Continuing on. There's another one. Yep, another fight here again. Go figure. And one of these guys. Okay, hang on. Goblin Bane on that guy now. I am not being stunned. Bigger. Right, Ranger Craft. Piercing might should hopefully not finish him off. Perfect. Leadership skills, company valor. Okay. Aha, yes, he's got a healing skill. Israel, you can use Loud Water Fury to get rid of him. Yeah, that healing wouldn't have helped you against that. Up, oh, Israel leveled up, fantastic. Okay, let's just level up Israel. We'll level up her Dexterity and her Strength. Then, if we go around here, there should be this. Okay, just a bunch of items we're going to need. Now we walk along the other one. And obviously, when we get to the end, there's going to be a couple of fights to deal with. Here we go again! Ooh! Right, a troll. Remember there's a... There's a, um... A mission to kill nine trolls. And by the way, pretty much all of them are part of the campaign. They are actually destroyed. Okay, you did quite a bit of damage there. But for me, I'm going to use Flaming Fury. So that does quite a bit of damage to you, very good. Ow! Okay, whatever. Now we'll get Verifor out. And use Citadel Rage on ya! Not much, gotta admit. Not much damage to him. Uh, let's see... Fluid strike. Double critical. That's good. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Uh, let's get our Elagos. Finish him off with your aim shot. I'm pretty sure the double critical was not necessary, Elagos. Seriously. Okay. Oh, had all got a new piece of equipment. Let's have a look. Oh, it's one of these again. Nah, I want this. I want the old one we have. Now, there's nothing I bel Oh, wait. Wait. There is a trench chest over here, there's an enemy in front of it. Let's go kill whoever's in front of the trench chest. This is easy. Oh blimey, you survived? Okay, that was unexpected. Company Valor? Very good, sir. Whatever. Get rid of that guy now. Okay, that's him sorted. Then we'll get Had Hard out. Goblin Bane. That was awesome. So that's that sorted. 
And Baron 4 did level up this time. Baron 4, let's have a look at ya. Dexter and speed. We got another piece of equipment. Oh. Is this what I think it is? Oh, flip, yes. This hammer is brutal against most enemies. Earth protection, okay. I, I remember nobody has a weakness to earth. We're not going to encounter much earthness in this level. What? Yeah, I can't believe there's nothing here except these guys. I came here specifically to fight this fight for the EXP and all that. Oh, you've got to be kidding, you flipping stun striker. Right, uh... Aim shot that guy, come on, get him. Okay, whatever. Man, do I hate Stun Strike. Okay. Let's get out Para 4. Uh, yeah, Guardian Strike. That sorted him out. Now, Idriel can use Large Wolf Fury to take that guy out. Sort it. Bit of doing, but we did it. And that's the only reason I came this way. There's literally no other reason to come down this area except for that fight. So let's go up here now and into the next chamber. Oh boy. This must be a burial house of great honor. I. Here lie the lords of Moria. Okay. Carefully. I don't want to join them. Reason Elgos says that, you can probably guess. We got people here why to get rid of us. Well, I say people, they're more like, well, these guys. Right, start with, I really think I want to get rid of that goblin first. Before he does any power-ups. Right, let's see. Actually... Use Piercing Might. That reduces his melee damage. It can be very useful against this guy. Right. Heal yourself up, Israel. Then we'll swap over to Hadhod so he can get EXP. We use U Armor. Okay, now his armor values decrease, so we can do a lot more damage. He, though, is still doing damage to us quite a bit, so I'm going to do Gift of Israel, Gift of Elrond, sorry, on Hadhod. Let's see how that much damage this does. Uh, not as much. Still just about the same as last time. Okay. Um... Weakening Slap. Okay. Then let's go Elagos. Aim Shot. Learned Arrows of Sleep. Finally learned a new skill. And then I want to use this again to give Terra Force some health. Well, this time I can free release, I did! Jeez, that was good timing. And the counter attack finished him off. Okay, that was unexpected. But great going, Bearfall, you took him out. So we get EXP and Hadhod leveled up. Okay. 
Everyone has home get equipment. Okay. So let's level up Hadhorn first, and we'll level up his spirit by two. Now, Berafor and Hadhorn. Let's start with Berafor. Don't need the earth protection. The sword here, yeah, does quite a bit more damage, actually. And fortification. Now, the armor value is better for that one. But this one actually gives him more speed, and speed is something I like to have a lot of. Hard hard, you have the dragon helmet, which seriously really is helpful here. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop the video here. In the next episode, we will proceed down this long corridor. So, I'll see you guys next video.